Hi, today we try to uncover the essence of powerboats. Let's go! A powerboat is a watercraft powered only by an engine. A closely related term is motoyacht. The difference is that motoyachts are considered to be slightly larger and more equipped with the various safety features such as navigation devices and charts. Also, motoyachts have available facilities including sleeping cabins, toilets called heads and a kitchen known as a galley. Powerboats are used for traveling on water and quite often they serve as a good way to spend free time. It is possible to enjoy activities such as sunbathing, fishing, snorkeling and water sports like water skiing, parasailing and wake surfing. These activities are attractive but note, do them safely. You probably noticed that boats do not have brakes. Therefore, stopping them is not as easy as it may sound, especially if the vessel is huge. Always take into account the speed and direction of winds, tides and waves, the size of the vessel, the number of persons on board, which impacts the boat's weight and other factors when operating a powerboat. Before you decide to be a captain, practice with a competent companion. There are effective exercises that can help you feel the boat and improve your skills. The first one is to maintain the vessel's position against a fixed object. To do this exercise, simply find an object on the shore, such as a building or a tree. By using the steering wheel and gradually adjusting the boat's speed, focus on holding the boat in place. This training shouldn't last long. Two minutes before each trip is more than enough. If you have access to a pole or a buoy in the water, you can elevate the level of the previous exercise by adding some actions. Simply stop the boat next to the buoy and attempt to navigate smoothly around it, maintaining a distance of approximately one meter. This drill becomes very handy when you need to perform a man overboard maneuver. You must constantly check the impact of the wind and tide to prevent drifting onto the pole. At the same time, you need to control your speed. When you finally feel confident, Start to do everyday procedures like docking and anchoring as much as possible. This will increase your overall experience and raise your skills. But did you know that powerboats are used for sport as well? There is a serious powerboat or speedboat sport. The first speedboat was invented in 1888, but they became very popular in the 1900s. This sport gained global popularity. It is a highly technical sport where athletes require modern equipment for best performance. Typically, the boats are well crafted with hydrodynamic and aerodynamic hulls and powerful engines. In high elite competitions, the average speed for the vessel can reach up to 100 knots. For safety, racers must wear mandatory gear like helmets, gloves and other. The required equipment varies based on racing categories, weather and other factors. If you want to be a competent captain on board, you must understand every aspect of your boat. The first thing that catches the eye when looking at a powerboat is its design. Nowadays, the most common material in powerboat manufacturing is fiberglass, aluminum and wood. Wooden boats look stylish Wood is not commonly used anymore due to its tendency to damage sooner and require more care to keep it in uh, good shape. Let's talk about boats, hearts, engines. There are two main engine types, outboard engines and inboard engines. An outboard engine is a unit containing the engine gearbox and a propeller. Engine is attached to the stern of the boat. While in use, it is lowered down in the water. An outboard engine can be connected to a steering wheel. Some powerboats have two or more engines. These kinds of vessels are often used for military and coastal rescue services. Inboard engines are mounted inside of the hull. With them, it is not possible to steer, so steering is provided by a rudder. Because these engines create a good wake, they are more often chosen for water sports. 
also they are more useful for sailboats. Once you have familiarized with all the technical aspects of the boat, it's the right time to get ready for the trip. Whether it's an active adventure, a leisurely evening ride with several stops, or adrenaline filled speed ride through the waves, don't forget to calculate how much fuel you will need and even spare. There are numerous stories when people go out to sea, but they are not able to come back because the fuel has run out. Also, remember to check the weather forecast and be ready to cancel your trip if the forecast is not perfect. And ensure you have suitable clothing. On the water, it always feels colder, so bring extra clothing just in case. Power boats require regular technical attention. It's advisable to create routine checkups before each ride, examining the engine's performance, navigation devices and lights. Bigger maintenance is crucial at least once per season, particularly after the winter break. It's not just a boat condition that matters. Safety equipment such as life jackets, emergency flares and first aid kits also have expiration dates. Ensure that all your equipment meets the required standards for a safe and enjoyable boating experience. Now you know what a power boat is, remember to visit skippercheck.net to endorse your sea time. Additionally, you can apply for the VHF Radio Operators course on the website. Thanks for watching.